This course is about the CFD analysis of NREL phase 6 wind turbine and it covers the every aspect of the wind turbine simulation starting from aerofoil and then making the solid model in the solid works and then modeling of that blade and make the two blades and the hub section and providing the global pitch angle in 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 the space claim also i made the domains in the space claim because it's much easier to work there then made the high quality tetra prism meshing in the icm cfd for two domains inner domain which is rotating second station domain which is the outer, outer domain and then I set up the case and uh, ran the case and got the results in terms of the different plots and also the data in terms of torque, power and the power coefficient. This is the original picture from the report by the NREL which shows that how this turbine is being tested in a wind tunnel. And these are the contents of the full course. But Keep in mind on Zendler, I am not going to publish the whole course. I'm just publishing the one section which you can see here that I'm publishing only this section here. The rest of the sections will be available in my Udemy private course. And uh, for that you would need a, a link for the course plus the password. And uh, I am letting you know that password is N R E L 6 V I. Therefore, the for other sections, for these four sections or five sections, you have to you have to consult the my Udemy course for the further understanding on these sections. But geometry section is completely given there. In the geometry section, basically we start with the uh, aerofoil and that aerofoil is the S809 aerofoil. This is the 21% thick, thick laminar aerofoil. I will discuss this thing in the coming video. And uh, from here, basically you will start with the first, you will open this SolidWorks and uh, you will use the scan to 3D option because this is the how we are going to read the our coordinates for the arrow file which is S809 and these are coordinates for this arrow file and we have to make the Z coordinate one uh, in, a, in a third column this is necessary for the by requirements of the software because otherwise we cannot read the file into SOLIDWORKS then you have to make the one base arrow file make the one center point we are around, around, around which I am going to make the scaling for the my required chord length and this all data is given in the in the NRA report in this format so i am going to apply the this uh, twist angle for these 21 sections and this chord length so standard chord length is a one and the standard twist angle is a zero so i have to provide this twist angle and this chord length and then I will be making the 21 blade sections and uh, I will join them to create a one section for the blade and that extends from 25% span to 100% span. So this is covering overall 75% span. The next section is the transition section between the circular support and the aerofoil. And the last section is the support section which extends in this way. And finally, you will get the wind turbine blade jump, single blade, blade uh, wind turbine blade in this way. But in the coming videos, we will make the, we will provide the pitch angle. We will be making the two blades. We will be making the hub section, come join them to make a one solid body, make the domains, make the mesh in the ICM CFD and the simulation setup in the fluent, run the case like this and get results and then compare the diff different configuration results with the external data. So I have made the study of three domains. I have made the study of various meshes and uh, I have made the studies on the different tableau models. So I hope that you will like this course also and the, my upcoming full course on the Udemy.